and Chai Squeeze to Sakwa, Kintel Spochman, Nuthan Kate Muthnathim, Sinkatmutin, the Katermias, not the nap. So, my name is Chisakwa, and I come from Shushwap and Okanagan territories, specifically Douglas Lake, Koshana, and Chuchua. And I'm Bracken Hanus Corlett. Uh, I come from the Wikino and the Klahus Nations. Uh, Wikino is on the central coast of BC, uh, just under Bella Kula, and Klahus is on what is otherwise known as Cortez Island. Um, multimedia artist uh, working out of the Sunshine Coast in Vancouver. We've been working together for about seven years now, and uh, I think what what originally probably brought us together is. Uh, that we're both very, you know, very passionate about where we're from and our, our culture and language. It's called Don't Go Hungry. And basically, it kind of touches on a lot of different things that are happening currently. Um, for me, what it is about is, you know, the state of the land and the ecosystem this year. A lot of places, you know, didn't have a fish run. And there's, so for me, salmon really represent um, like that connection we have to who we are as Indigenous people and that responsibility we have to the land. My pieces involve um, canning and uh, like canned salmon, but there's also, you know, um, people represented in the in the jars and kind of um, it talks about how we're being confined. I remember being a kid and like have basically like a factory going on at my grandma's house and like you know there are people cleaning and gutting and you know chopping up and you know filling the jars and all that stuff had like tons of burners going and everything and you know, it was a big family production. Uh, this was all, all these paintings were made by Chisekwa Forche, and uh, she's the collaborator in the show with me. Uh, she's, she's, really, uh, she's really connected to um, like berry picking, processing salmon, uh, her language, like she's really, she's really strongly connected to that, probably more than, more than anybody that I know. Uh, like around my age, and uh, something that I've always really admired about her, and I think in her work, like she's a bit more of a figurative painter, and she can express uh, she can express herself um, a lot more rapidly, and her ideas come to her really fast. Like we've talked about, uh, you know, the science behind the the humans in the jars, and. Uh, one thing that I see, just from my own my own view as well, is the the confinement. We uh, kind of came about naturally, but we decided to use the same color, a lot of the same colors, and the orange is really uh, significant when you see the jarred salmon. Uh, where I come from, uh, in a week, you know, that had the biggest salmon run, maybe in the world, but definitely on the central coast and the west coast. And uh, not too long ago, there was a year where there was no cultural harvest, there was no food harvest because the salmon were so, there was none left. Uh, so for one of, these, uh, one of these pieces, it's called Midnight Snack, and it was actually a collaboration between Chisekwa and I. And it depicts uh, the Sunakwa or the Atsi. She's got many names up and down the coast. Uh, she's basically like the boogie woman figure. Uh, you, you know, you tell your kids to come in at night because she'd come and find you in the woods. The reason why I came up with that title was um, my mom went to residential school and she told me a lot of the times they got in trouble was for uh, when they would sneak out at night and try to raid the pantry of the, the, the nuns and the priests had all the good food and they had the slop. It's it always something that always kind of sat with me as a, as a method. It's like food is a method of changing you and uh, conditioning you. Uh, this piece is called I'm Hungry, Me Too. And that's actually been sort of my mantra. It's something that I say to myself all the time. When I say I'm hungry, me too, it means both sides of me are hungry to, hungry to learn, hungry to work, hungry to make art. 
And uh, so it's, it's something that's been, been a part of me for quite a long time.